Welcome back trainers and the Valentine's event has begun and I'm over here on fire <laughs> getting all these shiny Latios. I'm not even really doing too many raids but I'm still getting them left and right and I can't complain. So I hope everybody's having a great Valentine's. I would personally have loved to take somebody, well not necessarily out to eat currently, but take in food. But you know, I'm dating that YouTube grind so here we go. We're going to be receiving two new Pokemon, Musha and Musharna, and, you know, it's going to be a dex filler, basically. It's not really going to be doing much with its current moves that we do have with it. Taking a look at the bonuses, you're going to have an increased chance to receive berries from the gifts, as well as new exclusive Valentine stickers. And you have the Musha-inspired t-shirt, as well as clothing in the shop which is going to cost, it's not for free. Trading distance has been increased to 40 kilometers. More uh, likely to become lucky friends with somebody when you do have an interaction with your best friends and more likely to receive a lucky Pokemon during a trade. So obviously you don't have to. If you're doing a lucky trade, it's going to be lucky. So you just trade Pokemon back and forth. You could have a chance for it to go lucky as well as the shiny Olomola being introduced. Not bad. This thing's actually been pretty good for people in the Love Cup. So there you go. Nice new shiny there. Doesn't really look too different, but it is what it is. And when you do evolve a Curlia, you can get Glade and Gardevoir. That can no synchro noise. But there's also going to be another little tip that we're going to go over on how to get that without having to waste any candies. All right. Also, don't forget to pick up your free box that does have three remote raid passes. Not bad. This is a pretty good event here, as well as a collection challenge for you to go through and get free items. All right, now let's go ahead and go over the Pokemon that you can expect to see in the wild. Thank you, Leak Duck, for always putting out these amazing images here. So we have Nidoran, male and female, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Chansey, Skitty, Plusel, Minum, Voltbeat, Luminous, Feebas, Love Disc, Muna, and Woobat. So basically, the only one that is appearing in this graph here at the top that cannot be shiny is going to be the new one that has been introduced, which is Muna. The little pig with flowers on it, the little hippie pig. And then we have five kilometer eggs. You're going to have Eevee, Cleffa, Igglybuff, Togepi. I know a lot of people have been trying to get the Togepi because why can you not evolve the one with the flowers? Love Disc, Muna again, uh, Woobat, and Cottony. So looking pretty good. I know. Collect those Eevee candies. Honestly, that's the most important one. Okay. Other than that, I mean, you know, Cleffa's pretty good, Iglybuff's pretty good, and I'm talking about when you evolve them, and of course, Togepi, you want to get those candies as well as potentially the shiny, because you know, the Togekiss shiny is just the most amazing one around. Now, moving it on to the field research tasks here, you're going to have Catch 20 Love Disc for a Olomola. I, I, I never understood why Niantic didn't just make Love Disc have that evolution into that thing, but okay. Make five great throws in a row for a Spinda, which can be shiny, as well as it is going to have the uh, hearts on it. So very nice. Send three gifts to friends for a Volpe, and then use five berries to help catch a Pokemon for a Ralts, which is going to be pretty nice. I need to get those candies. Win two raids for a Olamola, possibly shiny. And then the least uh, exciting one of all, catch three fairy type Pokemon for two berries all right now you have the 100 ivs there at the bottom and then if you take a look at the very bottom you have the collection challenge which is going to involve revolving around catching pokemon that are enraged legendaries it's going to reward you with some pretty good stuff um but you know you can use your free raid pass and simple as that to get those legendary raids and on top of you getting three remote raid passes should help you complete that uh, moving on here tier threes we have togetic espion umbreon Gardevoir, Glade, and Olomola. So here's something fun. The uh, Glade and Gardevoir are actually going to have the Community Day moves. For the Megas, you have Pidgeot, Gyarados, and Ampharos, and then of course Latios and Latias with their potential shinies in the raids. Now from Fleece King himself here, so you can see when you do catch the Glade or Gardevoir specifically from the raid, they will have that Community Day Synchro Noise. Not only that, it's going to come with good IVs. Now, I know some of you do need the um, lower attack, so you can use them in potential uh, Ultra League or Great League for those optimal IVs for PvP. If that's the case, you know, you can just simply evolve the one that you have if you uh, need to do that. Anyways, moving on to kind of past this event into the um, Kanto Green and Red 
event that we have going on in the future. As you can see, the clothing that they've added is absolutely fantastic. So it's still not too late to actually get this Kanto ticket. Do you actually want to do it? You can actually purchase it. I do believe like, uh, like a couple hours left of the actual event itself on the day, but you're obviously not going to be getting your money's worth. So I can't really say, is it worth it for you? All right. It really depends on your situation, how, you know, and the part of the world that you live in, because it's pretty expensive. I've heard for certain parts of the world, kind of weird, but uh, personally, I'm happy. I can't wait for this. It's looking pretty exciting, especially after they have announced this stuff and all of the little perks that they have in there. Now, the way that I look at it is, oh, is Niantic being greedy? I'm not saying that. I'm looking, looking in from the outside. I see people saying that. Um, you know, if you go and try to do something for entertainment, like rent a movie or whatever, and they get a, a, a snack or something on the side or whatever the case may be, you're looking at the same price. I mean, really? So I think it's worth it since you're going to be playing all day. But anyways, now taking a look at some of the clothing here. Uh, for the Valentine's event, uh, it's, it is what it is, but that's not the reason why we're really in here. This may seem a little random here, but just take a look at the clothing. We all know how this is going down at Pokemon Go. Some of the clothing overlaps. It doesn't work with each other, even though some of the combinations that we want are so awesome. They could be so awesome, but they just don't look right because of the glitches that are going on here. But um, yeah. Just thought I'd throw that out there because they keep adding more and more and more and more things as more and more things keep breaking and more of the clothing combinations keep looking worse and worse. So hopefully they can fix that in the near future. Anyways, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Just bring you a quick little news flash here that you may want to hear my voice. All right. So happy Valentine's Day. I will be bringing you some more Go Battle League battles later today. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all next time. Take care.